And Ambassador John Bolton, uh, Ambassador, frankly, I think anything that comes out of Washington is partisan, but we should mention that the Democratic response to this has 23 separate mentions of Donald Trump, which has absolutely nothing to do with the cause of Benghazi, the cause of those four Americans being dead, or trying to reach the bottom of why that happened. So if anybody's partisan, uh, it's, it's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black, right? Right. Well, look, what we have in the majority report here is 800 pages, and I'll confess I haven't read all 800 of them yet, but 800 pages of specific details of the attack, uh, what went up, led up to the attack, and all of the related issues. We've never had that kind of report before. That's why this committee was set up, to cr cut across right. the uh, jurisdictional lanes. And uh, I must say, in the parts I've read so far, it is compelling that we failed before the attack, we failed on the day of the attack, and I think it'll be clear we failed after the attack, too. And it, and it is important. Harm it, is so, it is so important to find out what happened. It does make a big difference as to what happened so that we can prevent things like this from happening again. By the way, Josh Ernest, the White House spokesperson, said today, he, he spoke about the cost of the committee's report. Let's just play the soundbite and get your reaction. This is a $7 million effort funded by taxpayers to do what the would-be Speaker of their House says was their goal, which is to tear down Secretary Clinton's poll numbers. So um, that was their goal. Remains to see if that's what they accomplished. Ambassador, to put a price tag on the lives of four Americans who have died and to try to prevent the, the lives of other Americans who are, who are very brave for defending our embassies, I, I just think that's pretty low, don't you? I thought it was appalling. I mean, there is nothing that uh, this White House won't politicize. The point here is precisely to find out what happened so we can prevent it from happening again. Exactly. That's why this narrative, the reality, is so troubling for uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. This was a massive failure on their watch. Here it is, this deputies committee meeting. I don't think we had heard about that before. Right. Instead of being a National Security Council meeting chaired by the President of the United States, you've got political flax sitting around trying to figure out what their press line is going to be. And one of those flax at a deputies committee meeting, which I, I've never heard of anything like this in administrations I've been in, to have the Secretary of State in on it, I tell you, that, that shows what their objective was, I think. Ambassador John Bolton in D.C. Ambassador, thank you very much.